No. Damn it. I thought you lot were all spent. Murderers. They drove the bearers to this. Wait. These two aren't turned. Ugh. That bitch of an innkeeper must have sent them. Being with the enemies of the Empire is a serious offence. And for their crimes shall they be punished. Such is the law. To dwell in darkness that we may purge the night and welcome lasting dawn. On these our swords we swear. How dare you speak those words? Have you no honor? Clive. This won't take long. Said all of them. I think so. He may still be alive. Abbot. The bearers died protecting him. Calling upon what little magic they had left in their bodies. Clive. He's breathing. Friends of Martha, we're here to help. Are the Imperials dead? They are. Every last one. If only that were true. <coughs> the Black Shields will return. Continue. Rosaria will never be saved unless we save her. Tell Martha to beg Sid's aid and tell her this wasn't her fault. I. I shall. Sid! Where are you? In here! We found a survivor! Clive? He's gone. We've laid the abbot to rest, but the bearers, they didn't need to die like this. 
No, they didn't. But it was their choice. They knew the fate that awaited them and chose to meet it on their terms. Fighting for those who fought for them. Martha said they rose from their beds, threw themselves at the Imperials so she and the Abbot could escape. I've gathered the bearers' remains. We should consign them to the tide. There's a drawbridge not far from here. Redux jump. The currents there are swift. If the abbot were still with us, he'd have taken the dust there himself and performed the casting. I'll get someone to... I'll do it. Of course. Cole and I will remain here and see to the Imperials. What am I saying? Of course it has. There's a floating eyeball.
He didn't see that coming. That must be the bridge. So shall the waters cleanse thee of thy burden, and bear it out to sea. And now they are truly free. I hope so. What of the Imperials? A pyre was made. It's more than they deserve. We should go back. Cole is worried about Martha. All right. We're best off staying where we are for now, I reckon. No one survived then. Before he passed, one of them bade me tell you not to blame yourself. Doesn't mean I won't. Doesn't mean their blood's not on my hands. Cole said you cast their remains. That was good of you. But it should have been me. This was all my fault. How? Oh, you couldn't have known. But I did. And I turned a deaf ear to the warnings like the fool I am. The rumors started moons ago. Of black-clad devils descending on villagers in the dead of night to slit the throats of sleeping bearers. But I assumed it was all just nonsense concocted by the Empire. Nothing but a ghost story meant to make folk think twice about lending a hand to a fugitive... And in ordinary times you would have been right. What these black shields had... It's unthinkable. Begs the question. Why do it at all? My mother obviously has a hand. I cannot make sense of her actions. And picking what goes on in that woman's head is a job for someone with more time on their hands. Right now... Swords and men... ...be big ones. If those imp... And threaten for a rude awakening. He asked me to. Will you be all right here, Martha? We can't stay long. Need. I'll. Imperials come calling. Oh, I wouldn't turn my nose up. If you were to lend me a pair of them strapping young curse breakers. With that sword of yours? Of course you are. Bet you're a bloody marvel with the thing. Now, question is, are you willing to use it or not? Because a flock of noble chocobos are in need of help. Chocobos? Wild birds? Big ones? 
And not just any chocobos at that. Whiteheart and her flock are the bravest birds you ever did see. They protect travelers round these parts from bandits and the like. Chocobos. Fighting bandits. It's true. Why? Yesterday. Nasty lot they were, too. And now, they're back. Looking to settle the score. Don't just stand there. Go and help them. I saw him. And that is. You save white hear me? There ain't a pluckier bird in all the world. She's a hero to us locals. And don't worry. You'll know her when you see her right enough. I'm sure I will. And good luck to you. And give those no good bastards a hiding from me. White feather. White one of a kind. Be here, brave birds. Looks like they went that way. These chocobos aren't going down without a fight. We got you cornered, Feathers. Didn't think you'd seen the last of us, did you? You've been bad for business. But I reckon someone will pay you Fine. To mount your head on their wall. Not around. Oh. And why is that, eh? Because she's something of a hero in these parts. You hurt her, and I hurt you. Piss off. Or better still, how about we hurt you both? All right then. Don't say I didn't warn you. Yeah. <laughs>
You're safe now. White heart, I presume. <laughs> Do you know her, boy? That's gone. yourself a flock. Oi! He, he is it over! I thought I'd come and see how you were getting on. Oh, are you so... And the flock made it through unscathed. Thankfully they did. And not only that... I never stopped to think our hero here might once have been someone's mound. <laughs> She'd suit a fine fellow like yourself. Reckon our feathered friend must have learned a thing or two from her master. Kind-hearted warrior. You are. <laughs> like her would have cost a princely sum. You born a lord or something? Well, I... Uh, <clears throat> Oh, no, sorry, sorry, I, I, I didn't mean to pry. Don't matter who you are, you done right by me. What is it, girl? She wants her master back, I reckon. <coughs> Told you, and it seems her pals agree. Is that it? You want to come with me? Well, bugger me if this ain't a heartwarming sight. The lads down the stables will be hearing about this tonight. Oh, stay right where you are. Doesn't she cut an handsome figure, eh? She does indeed. How much do I owe you? Ah, a few scraps of leather's the very least I owe, old Whiteheart. Oh, I'll be sad to see her go, of course. But she's earned her right to happiness and more besides. Don't you worry, we'll get along just fine without her. <laughs> you hear that, Whiteheart? You've earned yourself some time off. You have fun traveling with your master now. Hmm. You seem awful familiar now I get a proper look at you. That's it. When those chocobos swarm my cart on the road, didn't you? Uh... No. No, that can't be right. That fellow was a bearer. Must have been my double. Well, must have been, eh? <laughs> Oh, that'll be the excitement getting to me, silly sod that I am. Pay me no mind. <laughs> Anyhow, best be on my way. Good luck to the both of you. You take care of your flock for now. I'll call you when I need you.
Ready, go. Thanks, girl. 